Okay, so yesterday I started having issues with my 2015 Mustang GT and um, where it would stop accelerating, you would push the gas and the car would start to accelerate and then just around 2,000 or 2,500 RPMs, it would just stop. Uh, engine didn't die with the RPMs, it just would no longer stop. It was like if you just taking your foot off the accelerator. Uh, what it turned out to be is a little tiny piece of plastic called the brake pedal uh, brake pedal stop pad or brake pedal pad or brake pedal stop pad it doesn't really matter anyway if this is happening to your mustang i don't know if it applies to EcoBoosts or the v6 or gt350s or any of that i don't know if this is a, a an issue that might come up it looks like it's happening right now to a lot of the 2015s and it's probably because the little piece of plastic that i'm talking about which i can't show you but i'll tell you where it's at and all that in a minute that little piece of plastic over time i guess due to heat starts to get brittle and breaks uh if you look in your foot well and you find pieces of it which i actually did but i didn't know what it was at the time i tossed it but it'll be like a little translucent piece it'll look almost like a button like a translucent button with like a yellowish color to it and what it is is it actuates let's see if i can get underneath here so you've got, uh, uh, freaking, let me get a light. So you've got underneath here, if you look right there, that's the switch that tells the brake lights to come on. So if you look right, oh man, like no room underneath here. Right there. I've put a, the, the piece would normally go right where this little black uh, plastic rivet is, right there. And that actuates the switch. So when you push the brake, it tells the brake lights to come on. But if that, pa that plastic piece that's normally in there falls out like it did with me, then your car thinks the brake lights are on all the time. And apparently that makes it cut your throttle. Also, your brake lights are going to stay on. So if you're having it and the cruise control won't work. Cruise control won't work. Uh, first, I thought it was my throttle, my throttle body. I thought it was like a throttle position sensor in the throttle body. And it wasn't until I realized that my brake lights were stuck on. And then I went to... Look at him like, what now? So I looked up that issue, and that's when I found out that that is causing the brake lights, the little piece breaking, and realized that that, because I was, I was at the store, went to leave, found the pieces in my footwell, didn't know what they are, I thought they were a broken button that had gotten stuck to my foot, and I just tossed it. I just threw it out, not realizing until later that that's what it was. So... If you're having issues with the acceleration cutting out, that's the first thing you should check. And then, like I said, if you want to use the part that I got, I went up to O'Reilly's and I got this piece here. It's called, focus up, their quarter, uh, one, uh, the quarter inch push rivets, part number 961-075D. And I used it, I actually took, so I took the little rivet out that's in there, or the little center punch, the clip, and I just used this piece. And then I shoved it in there. I'd use a pair of needle nose pliers. You're gonna to wanna to run the car, the, have the engine running, because if you push that brake pedal, it doesn't travel very far without the engine running, and the more you push it, the less farther it'll travel. So you have to have the car running, uh, make sure you got your parking brake on. Um, you just push it in there and you have to shove it in there. And then it takes up enough space that it'll actually actuate that brake sensor. I actually, you can't buy the part from Ford. Ford doesn't sell it separately. Apparently you gotta buy a whole new brake assembly. But Toyota makes a similar part, basically the same part for Lexus and Scion and a few other Toyota cars. You can, you can uh, 
you can use that as a substitute, which I did. And I'll put a link in the description for the part number. I got it off of Parts Geek. Apparently, you can also go to uh, Discount Auto, and they can order the part for you. It's called a brake pedal stop pad. And they can order the part for you that way, too. But I went ahead and got off Parts Geek because every other place I was going to was out of stock. So I'll put the link in the description. Whether or not it works when you need it to, like I don't know when you're gonna view this video, you might go to click on it and maybe out of stock at them or the link's not gonna work anymore. Uh, all right, that's it. I hope this helps, thanks.